Hi guys, and welcome back. Let's get into it. All right, this week, my cat is crazy. He's always crazy, not just this week. But this week, I thought I'd do a viewer requested video. Um, Woodley Lee, Woody Lee, not Woodley, Woody Lee um, asks, to add to what you've been talking about, what is the hookup culture like? South Korea is portrayed as so much more conservative than the States. Underneath the facade, all the cultures the same. Are the cultures the same, I'm assuming. And the simple answer is to that last question, yes, they are. But they're different. Um, so Korea, especially in like dramas, and just in general is a very it, it's portrayed as a very conservative society where people don't kiss and like people don't have sex oh my god god forbid um but that's not actually the case at all uh and i like the amount of love motels these are places where people can go and like rent a room for a couple hours and have sex. The amount of love motels all over Seoul, the amount of places that you can just go in and pay to have sex, right? Um, hookup culture is alive and thriving and well, and you can find someone to hook up with if that's your cup of tea. Ha 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 ha, sorry. Not sorry, but uh, you can easily find someone to hook up with. Korea is portrayed as conservative on, for instance, let's take dramas. You know, the couples, it leads up to the romantic first kiss and everything's perfect after that. And oh, oh, and then someone gets amnesia. And then I don't know. I haven't watched a drama in forever. Okay, guys. But it's portrayed as like this big thing, like people are chast and they don't have sex. But sometimes if you're looking, there's a wink, wink, nudge, nudge about people having sex. So sometimes you'll see the girl, she'll stay at his house overnight. They're fully clothed when they go to bed, but when they go to bed, it's hinting that they're having sex. So even though they don't really portray it and they are very conservative when it comes to talking about sex, they are open to the idea. They like hookup culture is a thing here. You can go to any club in Seoul and if you want to hook up with somebody, I'm sure you can find somebody to hook up with. Done it plenty of times myself. Not sorry. But the one thing I do want to say is that while hookup culture is very similar to the States, go to a club, go to a bar, go, you know, a freaking language exchange. You know, you can find somebody to hook up with, use apps. It's very similar to the States, but, but Korea is a little bit more conservative. They will have sex with you but you need to use protection, okay? And I'm not saying this lightly. Um, sex education in Korea is lackluster, to say the least. Um, students aren't really taught anything about sex, um, which I guess could be compared to some states back in the U.S., you know, abstinence only, don't have sex, God forbid, oh, what's a condom, what are STIs, STDs, oh, AIDS, oh my God. Literally, people, I've had people tell me that AIDS are only thing, like, Koreans cannot get AIDS, only foreigners have AIDS, literally have been told that, okay? by grown ass adults who are having sex. The current guy that I'm dating has dated quite a few people before me. I know, I'm okay with it. I've dated, <laughs> oh. Anyway, yes, um, he told me 
after after we had had sex we had used a condom so it's fine but after we had had sex he's like you know i was talking about i needed to go get tested um blah yada 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 and he's like why do you need to get tested he's like i'm clean i'm like are you sure when was the last time you got tested and he's like oh i've never been tested i just know that i don't have anything and i'm like you are a 30 year old man and you've never been tested for any STIs, any sexually transmitted diseases or infections and you're having sex. And he's like, well, it's not that, uh, you know, I don't have any symptoms. I'm like, there's things that you can have that don't have symptoms in men, but can be transmitted. Chlamydia, for instance. Okay, like, get yourself checked, you dumbass, and we're not having sex again until you are checked. Like, the fuck you doing? You are a grown-ass man. You should take care of yourself better than that. Like, seriously. You're putting my health at risk and your health at risk. The fuck's wrong with you? But that is very common. It's not my first rodeo, guys. This has happened many times with Korean men. They're like, oh, I don't need a condom. I, I'm great at pull-out method. You do realize the pull-out method isn't foolproof. The pull-out method isn't number one, end-all, be-all. Like, nah, you're wearing a condom. Well, it doesn't feel good. Same excuses as back home. But bitch, you're wearing a condom. One, I'm not getting an STD. Two, I'm not getting fucking pregnant. You kidding me? I get fired. I work for a Christian university. No. No, 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 and no. So, that is the one big difference, I guess I would say, is sex education here is not great. And you have to be careful if you are hooking up with someone um, that they wear a condom because girls and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, both, STDs are prominent here. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, they got it all and they will give it to you if they don't wrap it, okay? I have many friends that have gotten STDs because of a hookup. So you just need to be careful like you would back home um, and just be aware that the culture is a little bit more conservative so sex education isn't that great. Um, otherwise, do you go have fun enjoy yourself if you want to have a hookup do it do what you want do what you want do what you want I am NOT one to judge at all <laughs> girl <laughs> I'm out of tea <laughs> um, but until next time I love you guys and I'll see you next week with a video about Palo An because I'm leaving tomorrow for vacation. Bye guys.